Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn various aspects and concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead, lead code and try to walk you through how can we develop query on such questions right from the very basics. Okay, and before we move it, move forward, so this question in the last six months has been asked in Amazon around four times. So it seems quite kind of important question. So yeah, uh, let's get it started. So this question is about finding consecutive available seats. So we are given a table with two columns, column seat ID, which is integer type and uh, column free, which is a Boolean. So basically what it means is that if uh, the value of a free column is one, it means the seat is free. If it is zero, then it is occupied. Now the question asks us, write a SQL query to report all the consecutive available seats in the cinema. Return the result table ordered by seat ID in ascending order. Okay. And let us go through this example. So obviously in this, uh, what we see is seat ID. So first seat is free. Second is not free. Third, fourth, fifth, all are free. So if we say consecutive seats are free, so it is being returned three, four and five. Okay. So let's go ahead and start building up this query. Okay. So one might think that, okay, if we add another column to this table, which has whether the next seat in the line is free or not. And then based on that, we can compare that whether the current seat is free as well as the next seat is free. So then we can return the seat ID. Okay. So based on this logic, let's uh, write the query and then see what problem it might have. Okay. So from the cinema table, what we are going to do is return all columns. So return to return all columns, what we do, we start and then let's add a column. Like we can call it whatever, which will basically state uh, the status of whether the next seat is occupied or not. So in this case, window functions comes in very useful. Okay. Now, in this question, we can think of two window functions. So there is a window function called lag. There is a window function called lead. So for example, let, let us see. So we are in this case, as I was saying, we need to find the next part, right? So next seat, whether the uh, seat is free or not. So here for this row, we want to find out whether the second one is free or not. So that means we need to lead by one right and which column do we want the value to be returned from so from this column called free so lead free let me run this query and then i can explain how this is working over order by seat id and we can alias this column as next seat Okay, so basically what is happening is that from the table called cinema, we are returning all columns as well as we are generating a new column called next seat where we are trying to find out whether the next seat is available or free. So in this case, what will I, so how this will populate this? Let's see. Uh, so a third column will be added named next seat. So for this one, right? So for row number one, seat ID one, right? So since it is order by seat ID, so the first thing that will occur is the entire table will be sorted in ascending order based on this column seat ID. So here, what is happening is that for row number one, that is seat ID equal to one in the column next seat, it is returning the very next rows value from the free column. So very next value from the free column, right? So here, uh, the value will be populated as zero. Similarly for seat ID two, the value will be populated as one. Why one? 
because the next seat is available right so one for uh, seat id 3 the next seat will be populated as one because from this right so this is this is what this function will be doing okay and based on what we discussed is that we can say okay so this the current seat is free as well as the next seat is free so return the seat id okay so once this uh, column is next column next seat is added into this table then what we can do is okay so let's return the seat ids from this newly generated table or basically a ta the table with the app appended column next seat and uh, apply that logic what we were discussing that if the current seat is free as well as the next seat is free then return the seat id okay so we can put this in parentheses then return the seat ids but only if and filter it out or basically only keep the rows where free is equal to one and next seat is equal to one so what is happening is basically in this basically we need to write from as well um, yeah so what is happening uh, basically so from this cinema table so if in, in this is a sub query right so a query inside a query so for so the, how it uh, it will start from the cinema table it will return all the columns as well as make a new column called next seat by ordering seat id and populating the values in the next seed by the next uh, value in the uh, value from the free column and then once that uh, column that entire table is prepared from that table we are we are only keeping those rows where free equal to one and next seat equal to one which means we are only keeping those rows where the current seat is free as well as the next seat is free and then we are returning the seat ids of these and since it is uh, asked to you know re return the results ordered by seat id in ascending order we can write order by seat id and by default it returns in uh, ascending order right also one thing we need to keep in mind is that when we are trying to write a query inside a query so we should always try to alias the square sub queries as well so basically the inside query right select star and these next seat from cinema we should try to alias it as something so it does not matter let us alias it as whatever w it it, it won't matter right so but based on this what will happen is that now we will have to update this query okay so we alias it as w so everything so now the column will become w dot seat id w dot free w dot next seat because now this entire thing has been aliased as w okay so from this so like from this entire thing as w we are returning what w dot seat id so seat id column from w where w dot free is equal to one and w dot next seat is equal to one ordered by w dot seat id okay now let's run this query right let's see what happens okay so you see this is a wrong answer and this is what i was saying in the beginning as well there is one little problem with this approach the thing is if you see our output was only returned three and four with whereas it is expected that seat id three four and five all three should be returned so see what is the problem that is being happening happening 
so again come to the next seat column so what will the values would be for this uh, the value would be taken from the, uh, from the next uh, next row so it would be zero here it would be one because the next seat is available for this it would be one because the next seat is available for this it would be one because the next seat is available for this one since there is nothing after this so it would be null right so now you see we, since we are keeping only those rows where the current seat is equal to one or basically free as well as the next seat is equal to one that is free so since this is going to be null here so that is why we are not uh, being returned seat id 5 but in reality whether the next seat is uh, available or whether the previous seat is available in both the cases we can say that these two seats are consecutively available right so that is the problem that we need to address here so there is a small thing that we can be added here and then we can do this and make this uh, query entirely correct okay so you uh, you can pause the video here and try to think what we can do okay if you guessed it correctly kudos to you okay but yeah let's go ahead and try to do it so instead of just looking so right now what we are doing current and next but in this case we saw that they since there is no next we should also look uh, about the previous one right so if previous one is available and the current one is available then also uh, we can return return the seat ids as well okay so how to get the previous one so right now we were saying the next one right so how to get get the previous one yes so lead if it returns the next one so there is another window function called lag which returns the previous one so we can just include that here so lag return the value from free column one row before since uh, like by default it is going to be this one then it since this is the window function we have over clause order by seed id And then we can alias this column as let's say previous seat, prev seat, right? So now another column will be added called prev seat where how the values will be populated. So again, the table will be sorted. And why are we doing this order by seat num ID? So here in this example we are saying that you know uh, it is perfectly arranged uh, in ascending order of seat id but in reality it might be that like uh, the value that we have like two four one three five seat like for random uh, seats we can have whether they are available or not right so but if we want to know whether the next one is available or whether the right uh, previous one is available we need to order this by the seat id first and then try to return right if we don't order it will just uh, take whatever is available next so but in reality it is not going to be you know giving the correct value right so that is why we are doing order by in both these cases okay so now we have two two more columns as uh, extra next seat which uh, tells the status of the next seat as well as prev seat which is also tell, which tells the status of the previous seat now what we can do is uh, once we are uh, once we have uh, this two these two new columns added to this so from them keep those rows whether the current seat is free as well as the next seat is free or the current seat is free and the previous seat is free right so if you think now that uh, problem with five is being solved so uh, so see uh, here the value would be zero 
here one 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 null right so it will be comparing right so first row is is so basically are these both uh, equal to one so no no yes yes no so three and four will come from this but will it will also see another thing so now what will be in the prep seat since there is nothing before this so null one because for this the previous seat is available so one zero one one so now it will uh, see so one and null won't take zero and one won't take one and zero won't take one and one so four will be returned and one and one so five will be returned so four and five are coming from here right so basically uh, since this is an or clause so three and four as well as four and five so three four and five are going to be kept in this and then we are you know returning the seat ids and ordering in the ascending order so now this should work let's see okay so um, it says that everything looks fine there is no difference we can go ahead and try to submit it and see what happens cool so it ran it was pretty fast as well and yep amazing right so this is how such kind of questions can be solved using window functions and you might now understand the importance of window function uh, there would there are ways which uh, this can be solved without window functions as well but as you can think of and if you can think of uh, solving this without window functions let me know in the comment section i would love to go through it it is 100% sure like and i am 100% sure that it is uh, we can solve it by using multiple nested sub queries so basically query inside a query inside a query but this is one of the fastest ways to do it and this also gives you and it makes your life pretty easy right all you need to do is just think of a logic about consecutive empty uh, seats and try to uh, return those values cool so let me know guys how do you did you find this video was it useful or not uh, and i will see you guys in the next video